Welcome back to yet another Timely Tuesday where I provide you guys with some content in a timely manner. Today, we're going to be looking at how you can make your webcam into any shape. For example, something like this. Now this is probably way easier than you probably ever expected it to be. So let's get into how to change the shape of your webcam right now. Like I said, this is super, super simple. All you need to do is go to Google, search up any shape that you want your webcam to be. As you can see right now, my webcam is more of a square with rounded edges, but let's say you want something like a circle. Just go to Google, type in the shape you want with PNG at the end because you need a transparent background, which is super important. Make sure whatever shape you're searching for is black. And then obviously you'll get a lot of results. Now the easiest way to know if this is indeed a PNG coming straight from Google, because some say they are, but they're actually not, is they will have a white background behind them. Click on it. And in the bigger picture, if it stays white, that means it is not a PNG. So click through until you see one that ends up turning out to be like this. So right before I clicked on this circle, the image around it was white, but once I clicked on it, it disappeared and gave me this checkered form. This is your indication that it is indeed a PNG. So when you save it, it'll only save as a circle, not a square with a circle inside of it. So go ahead, right click, save image as and then as you can see i already have one saved in here called circle png and if you still aren't sure for actually saved as a png a good way to know is by looking at it when it saves as you can see this rectangle right here that i saved i thought it was a png but it still has white on the side this one right here has that checkered form that, that this one had so when it saves as a checkered form that's how you know it's still not a PNG. That checkered form is now burned into the background. But like this one here and this square here, as you can see, there's nothing but black, no white around it, no checkers around it. So it is indeed a PNG. So go ahead, click save. And then once it's saved, we'll be going into OBS Studio or Streamlabs OBS, whatever you prefer. Also, I want to make note of something really quick is that you need to make sure that when you find an image that you want to use, there's clear space on all four edges of the shape. If the shape that you save is touching any of the three corners then it will not do the mask appropriately inside of OBS so go into OBS right now I'll show you exactly what it looks like when you save it properly and when you save a shape that is touching one of the four corners so here we are inside OBS studio and as you can see I already have the mask filter applied to my face cam and how I did this was I went to my camera source right clicked went to filters and then in the bottom filter section right here you go add and then you click image mask slash blend, which I already have right here. And it'll pull up something that looks like this. You can go ahead and find the shape that you saved. Like I said, we just did a circle and we made sure the circle wasn't touching any of the four corners when we saved it. Go ahead and open. And as you can see, there is a clean edge and a perfect circle for my face cam right now. Now, another thing you need to make sure is that this channel that you choose is not color, not multiply, but it has to be alpha channel. Once you're on alpha channel, then it should give you a result that looks like this in whatever shape that you chose. And if you so choose, you can stretch the image so it goes a full length of what your actual camera is capturing. And then once you've decided on what you want, you can go ahead and close it and there it is. Now let's go back in and choose a different shape that is touching one of the four corners so we can see how it doesn't work. We go back into our filters, go to image mass blend. We can choose a different shape, which I know is touching one of the four corners. We'll choose this one right here, open it. And this is happening because the right and left hand side of the shape was touching the edges of the image. The top and bottom had space that I told you to look for so it doesn't bleed out up to top or bottom. So this is why it's important to make sure that it is indeed a PNG and that none of the sides are touching or else you'll get a result that looks like this. Now, if you choose something simple that has flat edges like this and not a circle, this could be easily fixed by holding an alt and dragging it in so you're cropping out those sides. And now you're still left with a similar image that you were going for initially. Now, if you're going something with more rounded edges, like obviously a circle, then obviously you wouldn't be able to fix it. So there you go. Like I said, there's really not much to it. It is very, very simple. Just a few minor things to look out for when you're saving and inputting these images. But other than that, it's a breeze. And there's also really no limit to the shape that you could choose. You'd go crazy and choose the wildest images you can think of as long as it meets the criteria that we talked about. I hope this video was helpful to someone. If it was, be sure to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already with those notifications turned on so you don't miss more Timely Tuesdays just like this one. Be sure to check out one of my live streams every Monday through Thursday from 7 p.m. Eastern and on. And on Saturdays, I have a link in the description that'll take you right to my live stream if I happen to be live right now. And past that, that's all I have for this one. I'll catch you next one.